Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. This was our Patreon exclusive that we did. And then after that, we were remote viewing JFK Jr. And yeah, interesting times indeed. As always, want to thank everybody that's supporting us on Patreon. Thank you very much. We truly appreciate it. And those that also support us on Ko-Fi. Yes. I mean, we appreciate it all. Thank you. And every single video has all the information you need to contact us or links to all of our different channels and website, et cetera, et cetera. So before I go into this, as you can see, this is Elon talking about California. Um, or maybe we should just mention that while it's up there, uh, Governor Newsom signed a bill which uh, many people would... <laughs> obviously take as taking away um, parental rights. I, I don't know how much parental rights exist in some states in reality or on the planet in general. Again, we have to change the paradigm, really change this paradigm because most people don't understand um, just how, how deep it is. And the layers of this system are very, very deep. So, you know, again, when the state can take uh, your kids away from you because of uh, something that you believe and they don't or vice versa if you know what I mean it's just dangerous but the reality is this has been going on for hundreds and thousands of years it has been for thousands of years again not many people understand the historical aspects of this or what has happened in in Canada or in <clears throat> in all of the Americas in reality. And both Cindy and I, you know, uh, our, our direct family uh, have experienced uh, the state taking control of family members, you know, in generations past. Um, and, you know, basically interfering with people's lives in, in, in the biggest way you can imagine. Again, uh, indigenous people have had their kids taken away uh, and in some cases never seen them again. And they've totally indoctrinated the kids in uh, the Western belief set. It's just, it really is disgusting what, what's been going on in the world for thousands of years. So when you see, you know, a new bill going into effect in California, they've been doing it anyway. Yeah, you know, but the bill should still tick us off. Oh yeah, I mean this is this is really no good, and I like to pick out the patterns when I see the patterns of the system because if you can see the patterns really quick, you know that you are going to avoid that pattern. But doesn't it always start out when uh, they're offering something? And, and they're offering something to do you a favor. Oh, here, let us take your child and put them in preschool. They get a free education. So this is the offering is what it starts with. And then after the offering and after people are getting really smart to it, and they're like, no, I, I think it's better to homeschool. Then they start to do these little nudges and, and they start to force the situation. So this is a uh, par for the course, very dangerous, very concerning. And I know you guys that have followed the channel for, for years understand how we view things. We, we don't believe that our parents choose us. We choose our parents. We, the soul, is, is existent before it takes a body. And transmigration, moving from one body to another, is a natural order of things. Um, so what you have is, you know, something that uh, we see as a very, very dark... Uh, a dark you know it, it's you got to be careful at words <laughs> with this. It, it's just a very dark situation uh on the planet and so you know is elon on the right side of things in our mind yes obviously but i think again he's being made up to be the good guy uh and he's going to be the one with all the answers and the solution he's the we can guy we can he's the positive energy um and he's the guy that people can relate to maybe a little bit more, even though he's a billionaire. Uh, this is what, you know, good cop, bad cop looks like. And, and that's just the reality. So he's going to, he has said he's going to move the headquarters 
of SpaceX from California to Texas because of this. So, you know, again, he's abandoning California. And, you know, the system knows what it's doing. What does the system do? Um, the system is just like, do you guys remember Get Smart? This message will self-destruct in 20 minutes, you know, 20 seconds. Well, that's what the system does. It self-destructs at regular intervals. Here you see there are uh, rumors coming out of China that Xi Jinping reportedly suffered a stroke. Um, so, you know, what would that look like if he is incapacitated? Would there be a smooth and easy line of secession? Or would maybe the people rise up and say, you know, we're, we're done with this? Uh, well, we'll see. We will have to see. And, you know, again, these are times of momentous change. And I do think that they have many different plans, as we've been saying. You know, we, I've, it already feels like we're probably on plan K or L. Yeah, we're far down the line because I don't think things have gone so smoothly for them that they're going to uh, backups of the backups. And yet, you know, do we have enough people awake yet? Oh, obviously not, you know, because people are, are falling hook, line, and sinker um, for one side or the other of the chaos that's being orchestrated. You had another um, attempt, uh, attempted targeting over at the RNC, uh, and so somebody else was taken out, and then now you have also reports you know that iran because of the general that was killed you know over two years ago now um you know there's reports that iran is is targeting uh 45 to make sure he doesn't become 47 or just simply to take revenge ah an eye for an eye leaves us all blind but that's the system you know deaf dumb and blind but still people fall for it hook line and sinker so you know very careful to touch on things without going too far into them in some ways because what's coming and there is a lot of laws going into effect yesterday okay yesterday guys i have a, a lowe's and a home depot uh account right mm -hmm. and i was trying to think where did i get this thing from and so i'm searching trying to see and i couldn't get into either and I had to kind of send requests um, to reset passwords. And both of them asked for facial recognition and or fingerprint. S this is all moving forward, re regardless of the chaos. In fact, they'll take the chaos. It, it enables them to move quicker. Because while we're looking over here and arguing about this, they're implementing their plans to a higher degree. Oh, gosh, that facial recognition just gives me the willies, especially in the line of work that that we are in right now. It's 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 all about the control. And I just I really got such a hard stop when I saw that yesterday. They're like, oh, here, we'll do you a favor. We'll do this for you. We're here to help. It's so much easier. Huh? <laughs> um, I, and, and then I just start going through my mind. It's like, how can I just avoid this forever? You know, there are people that have made it through this life without a cell phone. Granted, they are a dying breed, but they got through this life without a cell phone. And that's just not possible anymore because every piece of equipment that you buy, it has an app attached to it. I mean, there's something computerized attached to it. So this is this is just really a huge wake up call that we need to be more self-sufficient in getting our things because pretty soon, if you don't have that facial th thing going on or fingerprint thing, if you're not willing, you know, you're not going to eat unless you can grow your own somehow, way, shape, or form. But, and but then again, too, I've seen so many videos. Now, you got to be careful what's propaganda, but because yeah. we don't really know what's propaganda. You know, better red than dead. Well, look at Vietnam. They have a better quality of life now. Um, certainly than they did back in the 70s, you know, now that it's been totally taken over by the communists. But then when you get down to it, communism, capitalism, this is all one system. It's one system. It's one system. How, you know, it, sometimes you just feel like, I, I can't believe how dense people are. You really do feel that way. It's, it's going to be natural to feel that way. But you have to realize they've been programmed. They've been so indoctrinated and programmed from, from a very young age 
it's really tough to deprogram uh, people, especially the ones that have gone through traumas, like traumas like that we might not experience in our own lives, you know, because some people go through very, very traumatic events. And then in order to cope, they'll, they'll go to things that are just going to make everything worse. Mm -hmm. Substances that just lead to a downward spiral. Really, there is one answer, and, and that is, you know, love and the type of love that breeds compassion. So even if we are flustered and frustrated and, and just feel like, you know, saying, what is wrong with you people? Can't you see this? We have to take a deep breath and we have to realize, you know, they can't see it because they've been so traumatized. Right. right. And and if it was a matter of simple information, that would be one thing. But it's not just a matter of giving someone information. It's a matter of you're going upstream or you're going against the grain of what they have been raised with, their belief system. So Mike is right. It is love. It is compassion. It is understanding that the, this person just is not ready. And what do we do with that? Well, we got to get ourselves ready. That's what we do with that. Yeah, I see a lot of channels um, that I like and people that I, I generally like because I feel that they are really trying to expose things. And then you see them running off into this rabbit hole uh, that they don't understand they've been herded into. Uh, to go running down this rabbit hole that's just going to lead them chasing their tail. Uh, meanwhile, more things are going to be implemented. And if we look back to history, you know, how many people get riled up to the point where they're volunteering, you know, to go into the service and go fight, you know, the enemy. And meanwhile, on the other side, you have the same thing happening where, you know, they're, they're being fed all this quote-unquote information that's riling them up to go off and fight the bad guy. And meanwhile, the bad guy is the one pointing the two people, the two opposing forces at each other instead of at the, at the true uh, source of all the problems. You know, there's also, um, besides the Iran thing, besides, you know, all the info that's coming out, the ballistics, uh, what, you know, some, some are saying there's definitely at least two uh, people remember the whole grassy knoll thing and you know Lee Harvey Oswald and then you know Jack Ruby takes him out so you don't have to worry about him uh, squealing or squeaking you know again you know it's just this is what they do this is what they do look to the uh, Arkansas Clintons right how many people just disappear you know they just they do they just disappear and and this is what they're always doing with these wars too is they're erasing traces of past civilizations that have done the same thing that we're doing right now and so you know this is such a i, I can't believe that people in some ways it, you know logically you'll look and you'll say i can't believe they can't see through this it's so blatant and then at the same time they don't believe that you can't see things from their perspective because, you know, they don't realize that they've been uh, brainwashed, that they've been indoctrinated to a point where they can't see. Again, when the indigenous people were in Mexico looking off the coast, they couldn't see the conquistador ships until they were right there. They had no concept of it. And then when they saw them, they thought, well, you know, is, is this the return of the benevolent ones? Oh, no, they weren't benevolent. They, they came to uh, rape, pillage, and plunder, and they did it with a papal decree. And they read that papal decree to the indigenous people that didn't understand the language. Well, we told them, this is how the system works. Oh, yes, I, I understand if, if you guys are feeling frustrated with it. Meanwhile, you have all this going on. Uh, Nashville, Illinois, intense thunderstorms, 68 inches of rain leaving flooding uh, the dam. This particular dam in this area has experienced two failures, prompting the evacuation of residents in three, 300 homes. Uh, there's 3,000 people in the area, so about 10% were um, e evacuated with, um, you know, this situation. This is not unique, though. I mean, this is happening all over the world. There's been uh, intense floods, y you know, you name the continent or country, and we could probably find them even in the desert regions. And, in fact, in, in Moscow itself, it, it had uh, received incredible flooding. 
But even in Moscow, you will find, you know, just go a little bit outside of Moscow, you'll, you'll find like 20 feet down uh, people that were living uh, in a different time period. And you'll find complete structures uh, that are buried under, you know, maybe 20 feet of, of what's now Earth, which makes me think it was at some point in time another mud flood that came rolling in. And, you know, you have Mount Etna in Italy spontaneously erupting. Well, it does. You know, Etna is, you know, busy, but still does look spectacular. Um, this is Toronto, Canada. Beautiful city, by the way, or at least it was 20 years ago. That's the last time I was there. Uh, maybe 30 now. I'm getting old, guys. But anyway, this flooding that we're seeing, it is kind of everywhere. It's all over the place. This was really a curious earthquake. I meant to mention it yesterday. 3.4. Uh, yeah, water does have an effect on on quakes. It does, absolutely, of course, you know, because water is, you know, eight pounds a gallon. So when you have massive amounts coming in, it, it's it's a, a lot more pressure on, on certain perhaps ancient uh, fault lines. So curious. And then, of course, we have the whole reality that there's tunnels underneath us all over the place. Some areas, many more tunnels. Oh, and when you think about the civilizations that have existed before us and the approximate dates of some of these mud floods and some of these, you know, major uh, redos, you know, resetting of things, if you know what I mean. Days really are dragging. Length of days on Earth is increasing at an unprecedented rate. Yes, 2.62 milliseconds is going to be added per century to the day because of climate change. Tell me another one, Mommy and Daddy. Does Santa Claus come in July too? You know, that is kind of curious. I know it's a little bit slow, but gosh, we did channel that information where... The time is going to change. So and, and this, this is, is interesting. And this is where it's going to change a lot more than they're saying. Right. So everything that they say, uh, if you go the inverse, you're going to get closer to the truth. So they're talking about uh, the caps melting, redistribution of weight is going to affect the center of gravity. Um, and so things are going to change. The reality is, and we didn't understand this ourselves until, um, you know, just maybe a few months ago, it channeled information that she got, and we're still trying to figure it out. But in each yuga, everything really changes. I mean, really changes. It's like a real redo of the Matrix. What was that movie with um, Leonardo DiCaprio in it where, like, the city kind of, like, totally redoes itself? You know, you see things going inside and out and upside down or look to Dark City, you know, where they're constantly redoing uh, things every night. They, they shut everybody down. Everybody falls asleep and then they totally reset everything. Well, in the yugas, it's it, it's maybe a little bit closer to that than 2.62 milliseconds uh, per century to the day time flows differently you guys are noticing time is flowing differently it really is you're not crazy it is it's changing everything is changing our whole reality is changing and i think it's a lot more dramatic than most people realize i think so too mm -hmm. I, and and you know with that our lives are going to change and with that um i think as the ether the ether changes the technology that's in place is not going to be functional as we have seen these anomalies show up and they're not able to cover them up and people are waking up so i do think it's a a slow churn on the technology but and i can't explain it but when it comes to the split there's people who are going to remain down on the 3d with the technology because that's that's their path that's their life choice and my path and my life choice is to remain organic. So I do everything I can to stay organic. I do need to utilize technology, but where I can, I, I try to make it organic or I, I look into what can I do to make for myself and that's my path. And it's a slow one, but it's steady. And it's, you know, I think the word is, it's very, um, 
it's it's very deliberate. You know, I know in my soul, I want to stay organic. So I just do what I can when I can to remain that way. And, and everyone should find that path. I like to see people find their own footing and know what is it I want? Because there's so many things in life that, that really throw us off of our path and make us question like, what do I want? I mean, that's the most important thing is what you want. And sometimes we have to do a little digging to find that, but it's there. Absolutely. And I have evidence of the changing and of the time frame right in front of me because she just keeps rolling the ears back and you know (laughs) what can i say mean meanwhile here you go a major news study has debunked the narrative that increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from human activity is causing so-called global warming so this study published in science direct confirms what climate scientists should have told the public a long time ago The warming effect of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is naturally limited. In fact, that limit has already been reached. So the study found that carbon dioxide emissions have zero impact on Earth's global temperatures. You know, again, but they still push forward because the reality is, you know, that's not their agenda. We understand what their agenda is. And their agenda is to keep doing what's been done to humans uh, I don't know, hundreds of times during, you know, maybe 13,000 years. And that's bring things back to square one. And yet, you know, we understand it. Many of us do. So we need to shift that paradigm as best we can. And you know, we can't do that being quiet. Okay? Keeping things to ourselves is not going to do it. Rising up our frequency, yes, and not falling into uh, what they want us to fall into, which is obviously hatred and division. And this is a big part of it. Welfare costs exploding in Germany. 47.3% of the recipients are foreigners. So this is just the system saying, you know, they, they want to aggravate the, the crap out of you. They want you angry at somebody, and they're giving you somebody to be angry at. It's the system. The system is, is what needs to change. And, and that's the entirety of the system. As long as you have a UN, as long as you have the WHO, the CDC, as long as you have the Bilderbergers, Davos Group, the Weavers, all these different things, Trilateral Commission, it goes on down the line, these secret societies that gather in the darkness. As long as they're in control, nothing is going to change. Nothing. Meanwhile, this is over, you know, not far from the area that we were talking about. This is Illinois with the um, earthquake and the flooding. Archaeologists have unearthed more clues about a Native American tribe of about 50,000 people mysteriously vanished without a trace. Hmm. They say this was 600 years ago. They had to abandon their six square mile city. And what happened to them? Well, they think it was massive crop failure. Maybe it was global warming. Maybe they were driving too many cars 600 years ago, right? Yeah, this is the thing, too. We see evidence of the same thing uh, throughout time. And yet they'll tell us, well, they didn't have any cars. They had no trains. They had no, you know, planes, et cetera, et cetera. So, but then why do we see the same sort of cataclysms time after time crop failures etc you know massive floods and everything and then you have the other side of it where people now believe it's just all 12,000 13,000 year cycles and it's totally natural there's nothing you could do to uh, resist it and you know the controllers understand this so they're going to save themselves and go inside the earth um, or, you know, go into their bunkers and then roll out after everything is done and the poles have shifted and you've had massive upheavals and, you know, lands sinking to the bottom of the ocean. But the reality is, and when I was doing more videos that were more in agreement with the cycles, we got way more views because that is their agenda. This is still their agenda. They don't want you understanding the ET component. They don't want you understanding that again the gods never left they just hid themselves and let the humans think that they were still in charge yeah they can't have that part out that's when you get those little wikis about reptilians etc etc and (laughs) yeah exactly and then you know the flat earthers will say well then why why do they give a little wiki on flat earth well because there is truth in flat earth it's not that the earth is flat 
Um, but there are lands that are hidden, you know, the size of Antarctica. Uh, yes, everything we see is a distortion, you know. And again, <laughs> Elon Musk tweeted the other day, he said, why is it that the same people that say that we fake the moon landing believe in aliens? Well, you know, again, it, it's, once, it, it's, it's about public consumption. Uh, you know, they want you to think a certain way, and they know that some people are never going to believe something, and others are never going to believe this other thing. And as long as they could keep you segregated so that the flat earthers are just focused on, it's flat, it's flat, it's flat. And yet we can find some agreements, like, you know, they'll say the stars are not what they tell you, they're luminaries, and they just use a biblical term. Luminaries, so they're luminous, they have light, they emit light, you know, and ultimately light is consciousness, and consciousness uh, is something that can't be created or destroyed. When we look at the stars, yes, they are consciousness, yes, they are beings, but they are also these incredible powerhouses of energy that are supporting life on planets that are basically roundish surrounding them. So it's both. This is where, uh, and as long as they get you fixated on the things that divide, they're happy. Um, and yes, you know, from, from what we've gotten, there is a distortion. Uh, there's, whole, there's whole land masses that are not shown. And there is a distortion in the size of certain land masses. And I think when people think there's land beyond um, the wall, you know, like the Great Wall of Game of Thrones, you know, and, you know, there's all these other lands beyond there. Um, I think a lot of that's actually inner Earth, you know, like what we've what we've discussed in past videos. Yes, there's there's many um, cities and civilizations on inner Earth. And as we've said, yes, uh, it's not a space is not a vacuum. Space is more like a liquid. And so, you know, again, the sun is giving off the, the absolute necessities for life. So, you know, we have the hydrogen. We have, we, we know, they'll even tell you there's bacteria in space. Uh, they say there's viruses floating around in space too. Well, life abounds everywhere because life created this matrix to explore it. So, yes, there's life everywhere. And if we think that we're like SpongeBob in a bubble under the sea, in, in some ways we, we, we are in a semi-permeable membrane. This is what it is. It's like a cell. So, you know, the Earth is encapsulated in an atmosphere which acts very much like a cellular wall, as above, so below. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's so many things that you can explore and find new understanding and and along those lines of new understanding when uh people have uh belief systems that are not that are not uh coherent or people have a belief system so strong that there could create arguments and distrust and anger you know, we need to stand back and find something different to talk about. God bless my mother. One of the biggest things that she taught me as far as, you know, how to get along in life is learn to talk about nothing. Learn to talk. If, if you have a belief system that is so separate from somebody else's, you're just going to clash heads. That energy is not going to bring you very far. But if you can be friends with your family and, and those that are close to you, you may have to learn how to talk about nothing. And what does that look like? You talk about the sky. You talk about the flowers. You talk, you, you know, you, you talk about gardening. You, you, you just talk about the mundane stuff. Sometimes you just got to leave the belief systems alone because I guarantee you, no matter how strong your belief system is in something, at some point in your life, your perception could change or new information could come to the forefront and it might be different. So then how important is it that you stand strong and sturdy in your belief system and really uh, be angry at people who believe different than you? That's to me, that's not productive. And that's just my two cents coming from my mother. Oh, boy. Yeah. And she is skilled. <laughs> She is so skilled. Uh, she is impossible to ever be uh, ir irritated with or angered uh, because she's, she's just a sweetheart. But yes, this woman, 
is very skilled in communications. Uh, there's a lot of pyramids that have not been uncovered yet. What what really happened to these people and many other people that just uh, it just seemed to have disappeared is these people were were gifted. They were in tune with uh, the earth. They were some of the original or what we could call the most original earthlings, which included um, what you would call extraterrestrials uh, intermingling with these people and a lot of the bloodlines again so mixed the system needed to wipe out the threats to the system so just as is alluded to uh in in genesis when it's talking about different giants and you know the wars to go and take the, the lands from the giants and eliminate the giants well you know this this went on all over the world and they were just simply uh, again eliminating threats to the system and these people were mostly going to be very peaceful people living in harmony. Uh, so it, it truly is, uh, again, that G-E-N-O side word that happened. And when when you see all these articles, well, we don't know. We can only think it must have been some sort of, uh, you know, great uh, crop failures. Well, crop failures are always happening because even though they're not being sprayed out of uh, 737s, 757s, or whatever planes, they were still being sprayed because the technology certainly does exist, even though airplanes uh, being driven by humans weren't there. When we look back to the past, why is it that things seem to be more artistic? You know, now it's just so sterile. The attention to detail in some ways a real celebration of art and life you could see that and and we've degenerated it's been a degeneration a sterilization and it, it's gone in the in the in the, in a very very dark way you know it, it's not full of joy mm -mm. it's it's not it's not um it, it's really sad that they have taken this away and given us given us these things that are just you know a light pole i i mean it, it is mike mike is right 19th century picture here it is celebratory it's celebratory to appreciate the lines and the curves and the the distinct nature of everything just everything you know put put that put put that artistic nature in everything that you do don't let them take that from you. Don't let them. They are trying to make things as sterile as possible. And they call it, you know, they call it um, a new, new age or they call it, oh, well, this is just, you know, this is art, you know, showing a square box or something. And, and oh, it's streamlined, you know, using these words like, oh, this is really fantastic. No, no, no. Life is in the curves. Life, life is in the enjoyment of just everything that you really look at. I think back to Tolkien and, you know, these, which he pulled directly from so many myths, even even the names of the characters in his books come out of myths. When, you know, the, the elves, you know, disappear off heading into the West and are separating themselves, you know, from humans, you know, this, this is basically, what, what are they talking about? Well, they're talking about the fact that, you know, the benevolent, ETs, the ETs that we could work with, um, you know, they had to go behind the scene because the earth was taken over by the malevolent ones that abuse the earth and abuse everything on the earth. And because we're in that system, it's also created a separation between us and nature. And as we go back into harmony with earth and with all of her creatures, we'll find that they're going to trust us more. And, you know, the creatures of the of the earth will come up to you more and in a trusting manner and they'll share more with you. And also you'll find, again, uh, that you'll have more of these experiences of a very mystical kind as we come out of the system and awaken to the darkness that the system is. You know, the good news is that their days are numbered and they know this. This is why they have all those agendas. Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. You know, all these different dates that they're constantly putting out there because really they're counting the days to the end of their system's control on the planet. Mm -hmm. And if, if, if all else fails, give your local squirrel some water. He's going to be grateful. Yeah, look at that view. That must be the Grand Canyon. Isn't it beautiful? 
just like my wife. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.